Okay, hey guys, Mighty Ferret here with uh, July's Loot Crate. Now, I have opened it before, so this isn't a blind unboxing, this is a review. Um, this is also the first Loot Crate I'm doing with my new webcam, which has got autofocus. Um, now, first things first, uh, it is Heroes 2. The first item we've got is this. Legend of Zelda wristband. Which... Is good. I was wanting a Legend of Zelda item. <sighs> Next thing we have, if I can remember how to open this box, it's a magazine. We have the League of Regrettable Superheroes. Now this includes superheroes such as uh, Doctor Hormone, uh, Thunder Bunny, uh, Captain Marvel apparently, uh, and quite a few others. Um, so it's just like information on uh, superheroes that were a bit meh. Uh, next we have Star Trek Air Freshener. Focus. Thank you. Problem with the autofocus on this camera is that it's a little slow. Uh, then we have uh, a Batarang keychain with a bottle opener, but also if I hold it up to the camera, my camera st stalled there. You want to focus? Do I have to switch off the autofocus? Yes, I do, apparently. There we go. You can see on the end there, and on the other end, so it's got screwdrivers on it. We also have this. Um, Little Batman figure. It's kind of hard to see in the thing. There, you can kind of see it there. I've not taken it out of the box yet. I'm not going to for a little while. So, there's that. There's also the badge. to God, autofocus, otherwise I will autofocus for you. Still getting used to this bloody camera. The only problem is, it's kind of hard to see whether it's in focus or not, because uh, that might be why it's not autofocusing, because it's shiny. But there behind it, you can actually see the camera, so that's the design. There, there's it in the sharpest thing. There's the design there. We also have, if I can get it out of the box, because I've kind of jammed it in. The square tube. We have a poster. It is a Wonder Woman She Can Do It poster. Kind of the... Bat it reminds me of the uh, Suffragette posters back during the um, women's right movements. Wonder Woman not being the person I would have chose to promote women's rights. I mean, she's strong and independent, but she also wears very skimpy clothing. <laughs> and the last item we have is a code for Brawlhalla. Which I will be using. So that is everything this month, apart from the level up thing that I've signed up for. That arrives separately uh, as part of Loot Crate. Um, 
We'll see what we get in that. It's a unique. There's three levels. There's socks, wearables, and accessories. I've signed up for the accessories one. So that. But the last thing is the actual box when you flip it inside out. Turn into that. I may want to zoom out for this one. That did not help. That did not give me much zoom. Yeah, that's the problem when uh, filming in 1080p with this camera. The zoom is that. That's it. That's that's the zoom I get. Anyway, guys, I will see you sometime soon. I'll try and get my arse off hiatus. Uh, apart from obviously they look great, and uh, I'll see you then, guys. Okay, hey YouTube, I'm back. Uh, this is the second time recording this because the first one, the audio levels and the microphone weren't that good. Hopefully they're better. It is the webcam on the webcam microphone because the one on that isn't very good. Now, if just notice that, just let me adjust that because I don't know what you're seeing. That's fine either. Um, yeah, uh, this is a little bit of the end for uh, level up. Um, which is an add-on Loot Crate subscription, which apparently is now available to everyone, rather than just Loot Crate subscribers, which is good because it means that there's a sort of Loot Crate light, which means you only get a couple of items rather than a full crate. I mean, I get both because it's it's nice to get more. Uh, this is the envelope that came in. It's just a little black envelope. There's nothing fancy, about, you know, uh, compared to the boxes. Uh, what we got was this little high roll band, which I'm going to make sure because if it's the second time recording it, and I hold this very up the camera this time, it's a little bracelet. Um, with the high roll envelope on it, it is a magnetic one. As you can see, how I just popped it open there. The only problem with it being is on my wrist. I'll show you. I didn't have it on inside out. Um, um, it fits on pretty tight, but the thing is, if I move my wrist down like that, it just pops open, which is a kind of pain, but it's more I just have to be careful. I also don't want to sit that magnet too close to my watch, even though it's a mechanical one. <laughs> yeah, don't mind the goggles. Um, the second one we got was this Hyrulean scarf, which is quite nice. Like, these are both things that if I saw in a shop, I would probably buy. So, um, in terms of the or if they send me that products, I'll stop getting these. So far, I'm not too shabby. So, excuse me, second, my goggles are sitting there. Um, these are full goggles, by the way. It's kind of obscured by my hair, but you do notice there is a sitting on band there rather than them just kind of super loose to my head. Um, but that's it, guys. I will see you in the next look rate and level up. Um, hopefully, I will be able to.